Look, another cross this Prime Minister Port Coote to bear is this big issue of Australian nationals stranded overseas. Does having an Australian passport mean nothing? Nearly 35,000 stranded Australians have registered with the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, expressing their desire to return home to Australia. 5,000 of these are classified as vulnerable. That means many thought they had a ticket, they resigned from their job, they took the kids out of school, they cancelled the rental agreement, only to find the ticket was cancelled and the seat going to a non-Australian who could pay more. They're in no man's land. Other people are vulnerable simply because of the social and emotional isolation from family. Ever since the government closed international borders in March last year, the bulk of international travellers arriving in Australia are largely foreigners, not Australians. Why? Well, the cost for Australians to return to their own country is now akin to extortion. In some cases, a one-way ticket can cost up to $10,000. And if you can afford it anyway, arrivals are capped at 6000 a week. How government can't logistically organise the return of Australians is beyond me. But remember, when it came to the Australian Tennis Championships, 1,200 overseas visitors were able to come to Australia and quarantine without any hassle. Same with Hollywood celebrities. It is disturbingly unfair. In February, the Australian newspaper's General Brexton explained the current pitfalls brilliantly when she wrote, the airlines can cancel seats at the last minute and offer first class or business seats to those who can afford it. The system set up by the Prime Minister and state leaders encourages this predatory behaviour, unquote. That was in February. Today's April 15. Why does the Prime Minister not stop the extortionist commercial behaviour of some airlines in trying to make a big quid and, in so doing, preventing Australians from returning home? What Australians can find the sort of money that's being asked for an airfare? Again, Janet Albrechtson back in February, quote, amid the daily backslapping and self-congratulations from the Prime Minister and the Health Minister about their handling of COVID, are these men who have the power to make the system fairer willing to listen? Unquote. Well, the government just hopes that the dumb public like us will move on and forget that there are 35,000 Australians stranded overseas, unable to return home due to the lack of gumption by those in Canberra. I suppose we're too busy working out book deals for Brittany Higgins or changing the name of Coon Cheese or unfairly berating publicly to the point of detrimental psychological harm the very successful Christine Holgate all over a few Cartier watches. Yet we've got our own kith and kin, Australians, stranded overseas, unable to get home because foreign nationals can afford the extortionate airfares and Australians can't. If this is beyond the wit and capacity of government to solve, then what is government for?